your kids look at you and you say, you can fix it, mommy. And then when you go to court and things and people play games, they want to, they say you, you, you lie about the money, then Isn't you it, give them it's, tax it's, returns. It's like, but, what do you want? But, oh, but, oh. I love my children. There's sometimes I have wanted to cuss their father <laughs> out, but I can't because if I cuss him out, it's like I'm cussing them out. Yeah. And 10 years later, you're still dealing with this. Yeah. Does he? It's awful. Cheryl Lee Ralph, a star in her own right, has not always had the best life. In fact, at one point, it seemed as though her love life had given her a blow from which nobody believed she would recover, but she did. And years later, she has finally revealed what exactly happened. So what exactly went down? Cheryl Lee Ralph was married to French entrepreneur Eric Maurice between 1990 and 2001. They welcomed their son, Etienne Maurice, two years into their marriage and their daughter, Ivy Victoria Maurice, in 1995. Despite the seemingly happy union, the marriage between Eric and her spouse fell apart, and they officially ended their marriage in 2001. The young wife star wanted to do it amicably and out of the public eye. However, it became impossible as the National Enquirer published an article with numerous false and despicable statements. Eric and Cheryl sued the National Enquirer for $1 million in a Los Angeles Superior Court for libel and invasion of privacy. The magazine falsely alleged that the actress dumped her husband so she could chase after younger men. While those were false statements, the couple did go through a divorce. In an interview, Cheryl disclosed that the following years became an agonizing time for her. The actress also recalled how her family was crushed and how much her kids got hurt. Cheryl hinted at the not-so-smooth separation while speaking to Dr. Drew on CNN in 2012. You go to court, and people play games. They shift things here, they shift things there. Then they want to talk about your residency. Then they say you lie about the money. Then you give them tax returns. It's like, what do you want? The actress vented. She also said there were times she wanted to curse Eric out. Of my children, there's sometimes I have wanted to cuss their father <laughs> out. But I can't. Because if I cuss him out, it's like I'm cussing them out. The former Moesha star also said she hated that her children had to be kids of divorced parents. Your family is crushed, she said. I know your kids get hurt. I love my children, she concluded. Divorce is like ripping the skin off of your own body and your children. Now, with all this going on in her life, the unthinkable happened. Cheryl was essayed. In 2023, Cheryl Lee Ralph made the shocking revelation that she was essayed by a famous TV judge at a work event and claimed network executives who witnessed it years ago asked her not to report the attack because it would be bad press. Yes. And I'm a little nervous. Can I say that? You can. And you right. interviewed everybody, so you're, you're nervous. <laughs> All right. Well, Cheryl Lee nervous? Ralph is here. <laughs> Thank you. And we are, you know, to be sitting with a true diva. Thank As you. you are. The Abbott Elementary star did not disclose when it happened or the famous TV judge's name, but confirmed that it was not Judge Greg Mathis, calling him a great man. I'm at a very public place. I was suited. I was handling my business for the television show I was on at that time, the Emmy winner explained without naming the series, but noted, we were on the same network. After the alleged essay, Ralph said, she called former New Orleans Mayor Mark Morial, who was in office from 1994 to 2002, to report the incident. Ralph said Morial came to her defense without hesitation, saying, you want me to send the police there right now, because we will fix his you-know-what. The Dream Girls star said she was ready to hold the alleged assaulter accountable for his actions until, quote-unquote, somebody on the network tapped me on the shoulder saying, please don't. They did not want any bad press around their show and did not care what just happened to me, Ralph added. While retelling the story on Way Up, Ralph got visibly emotional about the incident. They saw what happened, she said. It's not that bad, is it? Please don't say anything. We don't need the bad press. It's a brand new show. Yours is a new show. She mentioned that one bystander even said, it wasn't so bad after all, was it? That's the kind of stuff that happens, Ralph continued. That's what makes it hard for women to speak up about these things. Unfortunately, Ralph said she was also essayed in a separate incident by a man she didn't know and admitted that the horrible experience made her question her own wardrobe. My skirt is at my knees. I have on a sweater blouse. 
the Moesha star said of the incident. It's horrible. It's like I can think about these things and I'll tell you, it was like the third time something like this had happened to me. And I thought to myself, what did I do to deserve that? What made this man think that he could just come over and put his hands on my body in front of, he didn't know me. Ralph said she eventually had the opportunity to confront her assaulter, who did not remember any of this. Years later, I was in a situation where that man walked through the door and he sat down at the table across from me, Ralph said. I had to confront him about it. I had to let him know what he did that night. Do you want to know what was the shocking part? Ralph said on the podcast. Everybody around the table was appalled that I would stand up for myself. They told me that I should be ashamed of myself and why would I even bring that up and at the dinner table? In this period, life was pretty difficult for the actress, but she found her way out of it. What's more, she chased the twinkle in her eye, signaling she was down but not out. She didn't let the divorce be the death and walked on the road to healing alone. Eventually, she found a new love. Cheryl Lee Ralph and Vincent J. Hughes met via a mutual friend and immediately hit it off. One of the earliest memories in their relationship that Cheryl has shared with the world is the time when Vincent gifted her a light blue box with a white ribbon wrapped around it. It was a Pennsylvania almanac. Inside of it, he had written, so you will know more about all the things I truly love, Cheryl recalled to the Philadelphia Inquirer. I was so fascinated that this man wanted me to know right off the get-go that I am all about my state and I love my city, she gushed. The pair walked down the aisle in 2005 at the First African Methodist Episcopal Church in Los Angeles. Cheryl went all out for her special day, wearing a silk Tadashi gown with Swarovski crystal-covered straps. She finished her regal look with a $16,000 Mikimoto tiara decorated with pearls and diamonds. When asked about their secret to success in a 2020 interview with Essence, they said communication and devotion to their mission is key. You've got to be able to laugh together and really, really communicate with each other. Bad communication will mess everything up, Cheryl explained. We believe in each other's mission and each other's work, and we're both very focused on our children and our family, Vincent added. I think that really is the foundation. I like what Cheryl's about. Even when we don't want to communicate with each other, we do. We pray for the strength to always turn toward each other when we have differences. People have a tendency to turn away. It has worked for us. I can tell you that. With each of their divorces in mind, Cheryl and Vincent agreed to attend relationship counseling together to ensure they blended their families appropriately. It was because we've both been married and divorced before and we had children to think of, Vincent told Essence. Cheryl agreed. We knew the pain, but we knew we loved and respected each other immensely. We hadn't even talked about marriage, but we knew we wanted to go to relationship counseling. If you're honest in your session, you're leaving everything wide open, she said. It was a way to really reveal ourselves to one another with guidance. It was extremely helpful. I would encourage counseling whether you have a blended family or not. Now, Cheryl's marriage to Vincent is quite peculiar, according to fans. She and Senator Vincent Hughes live and work in different parts of the country, but despite it have managed to maintain a nearly 19-year marriage. Ralph is based primarily in Los Angeles, while Hughes is mostly in Harrisburg. Vincent and I have been married going on 19 years. We've been together 21 years. Abbott is shot in Los Angeles. My husband, as a senator, is always in his capital, Harrisburg, Penn. So I don't know what magic people think we're going to do, said Ralph. She went on to say that the couple see each other every two weeks on average. The only time they've been in the same place for an extended period was during the pandemic lockdown. First of all, 20 years, keeping this marriage together, you have to be together some time, she told the Philadelphia Inquirer in a past interview. Vincent is not able to leave the state the way I can leave the state. In fact, in 20 years of our being together, I'm going to say my husband has maybe been in California maybe 25 times. That means I'm in Philadelphia every two weeks. She also explained that fans often wonder why she's there when they see her. It's always like, what are you doing there? Um, I'm married to Sen, Hughes, I live here. Long distance can't be easy, but the two are making it work, so they're certainly doing something right. In any case, aside from finally getting it right in love, Cheryl Lee Ralph has also pretty much had a successful career. Ralph, born in Waterbury, Connecticut, entered the world as the daughter of Stanley Ralph, a college professor, and Ivy Ralph O.D., a Jamaican fashion designer renowned for her creation, the Kariba suit. Growing up, she shared her journey with a younger brother, Michael Ralph, who later pursued a career in acting and comedy. A genetic analysis revealed her ancestral ties to the Tikar people of Cameroon. Her upbringing spanned between Mandeville, Jamaica, and Long Island, shaping her diverse cultural background. 
She attended Uniondale High School in Uniondale, New York, where her talents flourished. In a high school production of the musical Oklahoma, she stole the spotlight portraying Otto Annie. Graduating in 1972, she not only earned her diploma, but also the title of Miss Black Teenage New York. Setting a remarkable record, Ralph became the youngest woman to graduate from Rutgers University at the age of 19. Her time at Rutgers was marked by accolades, including the prestigious Irene Ryan Acting Scholarships, awarded by the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival. Glamour magazine recognized her among the top 10 college women in America. Initially drawn to the field of medicine, Ralph's trajectory shifted after encountering cadavers in a pre-med class and winning a scholarship at the American College Theater Festival. This pivotal moment redirected her path towards the performing arts. Years later, she returned to Rutgers as the commencement speaker for the class of 2023, completing a full circle journey. Her professional journey commenced in the 1970s, marked by appearances in the 1977 American crime comedy film, A Piece of the Action, directed by Sidney Poitier. Television roles in popular shows like Good Times, Wonder Woman, and The Jeffersons laid the foundation for her career. Ralph's Broadway debut in Reggae in 1980 paved the way for her iconic portrayal of Dina Jones in the original Broadway musical Dreamgirls in 1981. She gained recognition for portraying Dina Jones in the Broadway musical Dreamgirls, garnering a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Musical. Notably, she currently stars as Barbara Howard on the ABC mockumentary sitcom Abbott Elementary, winning a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series in 2021, marking the first win by a black woman in 35 years. Ralph made her cinematic debut in the 1977 comedy film A Piece of the Action. In 1991, she clinched the Independent Spirit Award for Best Supporting Female for her role in the comedy drama film To Sleep With Anger. Her notable film credits include The Mighty Quinn, Mistress, The Distinguished Gentleman, Sister Act II, Back in the Habit, and The Comeback Trail. Beginning with guest appearances on television shows like Good Times, The Jeffersons, and Wonder Woman, she later starred in ABC sitcoms It's a Living in New Attitude, as well as the Nick at Night sitcom Instant Mom. Her portrayal of Dee Mitchell in the UPN sitcom Moesha earned her five NAACP Image Award nominations. Ralph's Broadway repertoire includes Muzzy Van Hosmere in Thoroughly Modern Millie and Madame Morrible in Wicked. Furthermore, she has produced Broadway plays such as Thoughts of a Colored Man and Ohio State M's. Despite the setbacks she has experienced in her life, Cheryl Lee Ralph is determined to continue being successful in her career and family life. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.